Hey everyone! Welcome back! I am back today. Take a guess why I'm back today, guys. Really think about it. Really get in there. I know you don't have to. I know you already know why I'm here today. I am here today because it is by far the best day of the week, you guys. Today is Ruby Chibi Day. That's right. We're keeping the Ruby Day party going just a little bit different this time because um, we are making our way in Ruby Chibi and it is amazing. <laughs> I just can't even tell you how much it helped me to watch those first six episodes last time. Um, so if you're joining me early today, you know just what that means. It means you are one of my awesome patrons. Thank you so much. And as always, I'm sending you up those big old hugs right through that screen. And if not, still thank you for joining me today. I'm glad you're here. I do hope you'll consider supporting me that way. The link to my Patreon is going to be in the description down below. And if you are joining me on YouTube today, I would really love it if you could please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. So, guys, I don't, I'm not even sure what to say because there is no, like, there's no plot points to analyze or anything. It's just all random, silly wonderfulness. And it's just like, it just, it just really feels like just like pure serotonin is what it feels like. It's, it's so wonderful. And I gotta say, um, ending off the, uh, <laughs> my reaction last time with nothing bad ever happened, ever. It was perfect. Seeing pure again. I try so hard not to tear up, but it's it's hard. It's hard not to. Um, it's it's gonna be even harder once we get to some other characters. We'll we'll get there. We'll get there. Um, I heard a wonderful theory that I I love and I'm now like on board with. It's not like an official theory, but it's like a fan theory that this whole thing is like Nora's fever dream after the events of Volume Three. And let me tell you. I'm 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 down with that theory. It's I'm not gonna like have it in mind the whole time, but like I've, yeah, I get it. I totally get it. Oh Nora, I'm just so grateful. I'm so grateful for everyone and everything on the show. I really am. I'm I'm just I'm just feeling like I was feeling really upset when I first started watching Ruby Chibi, and it just got me. It healed me to a place where I can just stand back and be like, I'm just grateful for this. For this show, for this fandom, for this community, I'm just, I'm just happy about it now. I'm, I've come to like a good place within myself, I feel like. Um, and <laughs> we'll see what happens in Volume 9. I know after Volume 9, I might be singing a very different tune. Um, I mean, I'll still love it, but I might not be. I might... I don't know. I don't know. I really, I really feel like, um, well, I won't get into my volume nine thoughts now because like I said in my last one, I don't want to, I don't know where you're, I don't know where you are in your Ruby journey watching this and I don't want to get into anything that might spoil anything for you. So I'm going to make the assumption with caution that you have watched up to volume three because this show takes place after volume three. So a lot of things they're doing saying would spoil you anyway if you haven't watched all the way through um, volume three. So, <laughs> guys, I'm just, I'm ready for, I'm ready for my just daily dose of happiness. Um, what do you say we go ahead and we jump right into Ruby Chibi? Let's go. Oh, that's loud. Oh yeah, so a lot of you have told me you either went to RTX or you want to go to RTX. Um, I believe it's been virtual the last few years. Oh my god, I would love to go. Love to go. Eee. Summer of animation. I hope you all had a summer of animation. I hope you did. Just let the happiness wash over you. Time for practice. <laughs> Yay! They're all together. You guys go on ahead. I'm gonna grab oh. something from the room. Okay. And off we go. Hmm. hmm. Suspicious. Dubious, are we? Okay. Hmm. He's not happy. He's just. He's not happy with it. <laughs> I like the poster. Oh. Now, John, I know you're not about to do something like take one of their weapons. It's not like they're using them. John, John, you're going to regret that, friend. Oh! 
Oh, you got, yep. So a lot of, a lot of regretful stuff going on. Oh, she turned it into ice. That's ice water. Boys, I think she's concussed. I think she's pranked is what she is. <laughs> that, that's how you get that done if you're wise. Oh my God. Whack a grim. Oh, the grim does not look happy. <laughs> uh oh. Did not go well. Excuse me. Oh. Thank you. Oh, it's a take your bear, and she's like, "I'm sorry, I earned my bear." <laughs> you better run. You better run. Oh, he's so sweetheart. Mm. This is gonna end badly for you. Left hook, jab, uppercut. <laughs> this is how you train. Hit it, John. This is a katana. Is that just gonna be a running joke now? Cause I'm here for it. Oh, oh now, oh now he's okay. I see what we're doing now. Now he's imitating. Okay. Don't be. Oh. The, this is like the, he's like, hey, if you got it, flaunt it. I'm sorry. Oh my God, guys. What did I ever do to deserve this? What did I ever, ever do to deserve this goodness? Okay. Um, so yeah, that's, I, I just, I just knew he was going to get caught. I really thought it would be even worse. You could tell that was like the best thing that had ever happened to Yang. She was like, I am never, ever going to let you forget this. Oh, guys, what did, what did I ever do? What did I ever do to deserve it? Here we go with episode eight. So what are we doing today? We're doing seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So this is eight. Let's go. Hi, Chibi friends. Woo, happy Ruby. Happy Ruby's the best Ruby. Oh, what are we what are we doing, sweetheart? Oh, it's it's so it's very hard. Ruby has a lot of difficulty in the kitchen. Has anyone noticed that? Oh, this is me trying to open any jar of anything in my kitchen. It's a wrench not working. Baby, run it. Oh no, run it under some water, baby. Ah, that's a. Uh, you could just break the jar. There you go. That works. <laughs> She's like, yay! Pickle mission accomplished. Oh. <laughs> Huh? Hmm? 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 Are you, uh, sweetie, are you thinking you are not fit enough? Because I know that's not true whatsoever. But I am here for your little eye of the tiger. And she, <laughs> that's how you train right there. Oh, it's, it's a song, but it's like the eye of the tiger version. I love it. Uh-huh. Just entire cake. This is how this is me. Nora is me right now. Just eating entire cake. She's like, huh, I've been training so hard. And you're just gonna inhale a cake. Oh, Pira, you don't have to be sorry for anything. Yeah! It's been hours and we haven't made it out of beacon. You don't look at me. This stupid compass must be broken. It keeps leading us in circles. See, now it's telling me north is back that way. Oh, is that I was gonna say? Is it Pira? Is it oh, sweetie pie? It's okay. It's and he's just following. <laughs> She's like, what's going on? Uh huh. I'm sorry. You don't have to be sorry about anything, sweet girl. Oh, stop scaring her. Ren found Oops. this old stack of VHS tapes. You want to help us sort through them and see what's on them? Yes. What could possibly be on those tapes? Um, oh, cause the ma the ma the the magnetism. Okay, yep, I'm I got it now. <laughs> Poor Pira. Second basement. 
Art gallery, third basement, no girls allowed, super secret vault, do not enter. Uh, guys, we are hitting all of these. We are hitting all of these in no particular order. Oh, yes, it's the guy. We all know the guy. Hey, hey. Uh. Oh, he's not happy. He's not happy because it's yet. Yeah. yeah, they're like, okay, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Tommy Tommy was the name. Come on, guys. Tommy Tommy. Oh, no way ever. But I do get that. I do get that when you're like trying and then, except I'm usually the Nora in that situation who's, okay, there is nothing after it. Oh my God, guys. I just, as actual footage of me eating a cake. Cake is here, cake disappears. Well, it doesn't disappear, if you know what I mean, but <laughs> uh, I know a lot of you out there probably feel me about that one, but all right, guys, episode nine. Let's do it. And it's going to play an ad. So just let that ad play through. It's going to let me skip the ad? Skip the ad. Thank you. Ren plays tag. This should be good. Oh, the pure jokes, though. The pure jokes, guys, with her polarity and the VH. <laughs> The VHS thing. <laughs> that that one that was a that was a good one. Oh, play with her. Yeah, She's so sad. She's like whatever. Don't mind me. Ruby. sad and bored and she and now she's she's just gonna kind of she's gonna hang around and just sort of be around you you can stay together oh Ruby I want to scoop you up right now child I just I oh my god she said she and you know this is this is this is um Buffy whenever I'm trying to get anything done she's like don't mind me I'm just gonna make noise and scooch and I did. Inch your way. And now we're now we're gonna take the direct approach. <laughs> you made me do. She's just wobbling like a fish. She's just wobbling like a fish. I I don't. Oh my god. I'm so blessed right now. You didn't give her attention. Oh. Hi. Oh my god. That was so cute. You're it. <laughs> oh, he's like, oh my god, what? How is I it? I'm it? <gasps> <laughs> oh, oh, I love the, I love, I'm loving this. And now he's going to have, now he's going to have a fit, a fitness training journey. He's like, there's no way I'm it. He's, and he's, uh, gotta get, gotta get, um, meditative sometimes. Yep. Mm-hmm. Oh, he's, oh, his wise can help. Yep. He's like, I will be your balancing beam. Mm-hmm. I uh, then it's a fan. It's, mm-hmm. Cause we all need a little help sometimes. <gasps> Eat that peppermint. Eat the pepper. Oh. She's like, this one's for me, for being a good trainer. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know where Ruby even came in in that, but I love it. <gasps> oh! No! Oh, defeat. But is, is it, you can't, you can't keep, oh. You can't keep him down though. He will he will come back stronger than ever. I have no doubt. I have no doubt. Guys, I I just I just don't even know. I mean, honestly, I just I just love all of it, but seriously, like the Ruby stuff is really just blowing my mind. And it's funny because you'd think that cuz Ruby was already a character that had a lot of just like kind of silliness in her character, particularly earlier on in the series. You would think like, you know, <sighs> Maybe that would be like too spot on for her, but it just it just works so well. It just works so unbelievably well. 
when she's just like, I mean, the de the desk thing with just, oh my God. And then just popping up out of nowhere being like, you are ready. You have eaten so many of those peppermints. I'm, I'm, I'm just blessed. I am just blessed. I'm just very blessed. Okay, and now it's playing an ad. Oh, video will play after the ad. Okay. Oh, it's going to make me wait through a big old ad. I wonder if there will be a second ad. Hopefully not after a big long one. World's greatest head massage. Oh, is there? Oh, there's no. Oh, no. Oh, that was an ad. Wow. Something happens that triggers nerves and you feel it. An ASMR journey. Interesting. Does anyone do, does anyone like ASMR here? Summer of animation. I hope you all had a summer of animation. I really do. I thought that, I honestly thought that was an ad at first. That didn't look anything like our usual rooster teeth stuff. Uh, hey, Weiss. Hi, here we go. So, She's, it's the body language. Maybe you'd want to study for the exam together. Maybe we could she, notes. No. I'm actually more productive when studying on my own. She needs to focus. Sorry. We saw Maybe that. another time. Sorry. Or not. She's not into it. She's not into it, bro. It's okay. Here comes Vera. Oh, for this. We have that exam coming up. Do you study need a study partner? Because I'm tiny bunny. Right now. Study with her right now, John. John. Thanks, Vera, but I think I'm just gonna study on my own for a bit. John. Oh. John. Of course. Maybe John. Later. Maybe later, she says. Hello, no, I can't I take. Help but notice how well you did on our last exam. <gasps> so we could study for this next one together. I Is believe anybody? the two smartest girls in class could easily handle whatever Ublak has to throw at us. Study, buddy. Right. Yeah. Um, uh, perhaps another time. <gasps> Para. And Ren's just. Could see what's right in front of them. Thank you, Ren. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Notice me. I love it. I'll fly. Hi, doggy. Are you being a good doggy? Oh, she's got. She are you painting him? Are you painting the doggy? You paint pictures of the doggy. Uh, oops, uh, Blake. We know how Blake feels about dogs. And and we're just finger painting over here. We're just fin we're we're finger painting. Hey, hey, that looks really good for a finger paint. I'd say it looks pretty. And she's and she's grading you. She's like, hmm. She's like, oh, and it's a it's a cat. <laughs> it's a cat. She made a cat sweat. <gasps> Very nice. It's gorgeous. Looks just like him. It's very, very nice. Oh, Ru Ruby. Ruby, she's like, ah, finishing touches. Ah, ah, almost. And we're done. What do you got for us? And it's his butthole. And it's his butthole. She's like, I, I give up. I give up. Art is dead to me. <laughs> Your vision of the. It's a butt. We got that. Thank you, darling. <laughs> I just want to cry. I'm so happy. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. It's Nora's beauty salon. She's like, he's like, whatever. Oh, I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. Oh, it's nice. It's very subtle. Same. It's a that subtle change. I right. get you, Nora. Get you. Turn. He's gonna turn around, and it's gonna be. And there we go. Subtlety is the key, everyone. Subtlety. Mhm. Mm Subtlety. Not Nora's strong suit. I get it because I, I'm, I, very much relate to Nora. In case you guys haven't noticed. Oh, guys, the, the, the butt. You know what? You know what? For, for me, I just think my takeaway is going to be the butt. I just think the takeaway is going to be, it, ju it just hit me out of nowhere. It just hit me out. Of, and I like how Weiss was like, I'm done. I am done with everything. Art means nothing to me. And I cannot do this. 
And you know what? Some people have a vision and that vision is a butt. What are you going to do? <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so happy. I just want to cry, you guys. I don't know what I ever did. Okay, episode 11. And it's going to play an ad. All right, video play after ad. So I have to make sure that I don't mistake the video for an ad this time. That is so cool. <gasps> she was there? Oh my god, yes. Well, I guess I guess Ruby was the character was there. Gotcha. Okay, I thought maybe it was voice actor. I misunderstood. Or or did I? Hi friends. And here we go with the with the cooking again. Okay. Looks this is very serene. I'm waiting for something to come in and <gasps> Expertly done, friend. Expertly done. Oh, it looks so good. I could just... Ooh, and it's... Oh, he's such a master chef. And it's gone. Three guesses as to where it went, you guys. It's in Nora's tum. And as all... Oh, uh, see? Just a bigger snacky for her. You're, you're, he's like, I'll make more, but I could have sworn. He's like, I'm watching you. Uh, and it's and it's fine. Oh, it's boop. They're playing boop. Okay, he's like, oh, 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 I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Gone. Can't turn your back for a second. Nora's on it. <laughs> he's like, he's twitching. He's like that stack of pancakes. Took a lot of it, and okay, that's not gonna that's not gonna stop her. Guys, I'm telling you right now. I feel Nora. I'm like a base level. I can tell you that would not stop me. He's like, this is going to work. It's not, though. Just edges and... Uh. <laughs> That's how you catch a Nora. It did work. <laughs> she, just no remorse. She's like, give me that syrup. I have a crumb left here. He's like, I'll give you the syrup. I'm so blessed. Oh, poor John. Hello there. My name is John Arc. Today I will be doing an ASMR. <gasps> yes. Some of you may be wondering, uh, you know, what is ASMR? Explain but it for us. Explain let's it. just say that it's a way to get that funny tingling feeling in the back of your neck. It's like a good haircut. Good. Yeah. Or when that special girl says, hi. <gasps> John, be nice to Pira, I swear to God. All right, so let's get okay. started. Okay. Done this before. <laughs> Can I maybe do some tapping? Can do some scratching? Uh, here. He's got some clippers, okay. He's okay. Turn these on. All right, I'm down with this. Oh, oh it's, a, it's, a, it's a satisfying noise. It's buzzing. It's buzzing. It's, a, it's, mm. it's nice. I like it. Mm. Good. Okay, what's next? Okay. What else the do you have? The next item is this bag. Oh, that's going to be satisfying. Well, obviously, I ate the Just chips earlier. Crinkle it uh, a little bit. Salt Just crinkle it. They were delicious. Yum. Very good. I'm wondering. Mm, okay. There we go. Oh, yeah. Mm, mm hmm. Mm hmm. It's, uh, it's the crinkling. It's, it's hitting doing anything for you? It's hitting the spot. It's hitting the spot. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. It's going to get real loud, guys. Take out your earbuds. It's all she had to do. It's all she had to do. Oh my god, I want I want the full version. What's wrong? Sick! Medicine. What do you need? You got it. I know exactly what you need. Uh oh. No! Weiss. You should have been specific. Not what she wanted. Mm, not uh, exactly. Oh! Uh, <laughs> 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 meow. Ruby, please. She. Don't need this. Get. Tell her. Listen. Tell her what you you need to be specific. This is Ruby. 
That's sweet. Oh, and she's and she's still sick. There you go. I need. Oh, I'll go get the whole milk. I'm concerned for a girl's health now. I okay. So I don't know if anyone else listens to ASMR, but I would love to hear hear like the full version of the ASMR uninterrupted. Um, oh, is there more? Oh no, that's oh nice. That's an ad for a regular Ruby. Okay, okay. I saw when I hovered my cursor. Um, Nurse Ruby was the name of that episode. Oh guys, so I'm a little concerned for the health of our girls. Um, seeing as how that's, um, conventional medicine seems to not, um, be something they're familiar with. Um, I need the full ASMR video. That was the, the bag crinkling. It's, that's, that was very satisfying. That was very satisfying. What, I would have liked maybe some, like, taps in there too, but that's, hey, you know what? He's a, he's a beginner ASMR artist. ASM artist. <laughs> oh, guys. All right, last one. I'm so 12. I, I'm so happy right now. I'm just so happy right now. All right, here comes the ad. Oh, is that an, oh, that's an ad as well. Okay. It was actually an ad for um, Dragon Ball, and that's why I got tricked by the animation at first and thought maybe it had something to do. I'm like, I don't think Rooster Teeth has anything to do with Dragon Ball. Okay. Bandai Namco. Nice! Summer of Animation. Give me my chibis! Yay! Yuichi! <gasps> Junior Hi, Detectives! Yes! Hey man, how's it going? Oh, uh, hey man, uh, you're talking to me. <laughs> Uh, never thought I'd see the day. Uh, uh, good. I'm good. Great, actually. Uh, I'm okay. How, uh, how are things with you? It's, it's, it's oh. Hey. I, was, I forgot. Hey. I forgot the, the dynamic. Officer, no. Literally. <laughs> likely story. Right next to a trash can. Do you have no heart? Oh. No. Oh. I'm a good person. I swear. Look. I have a library card. Whoa, look he has a heart. library card, guys. <laughs> Oh, now you've done it! No, the must the mustache is down. The mustache is down. Oh my god, yes. Ruby presents an original stage play entitled Oh my god! Little Red Riding Hood. <gasps> Yay! Once upon a time, there was an husband girl who went by the name of Little Red Riding Hood. It's Ruby! Loved by many and what is good for her about colorful her? hood. Little Red was on a very important mission to deliver baked goods to her dear sweet grandmother. Yeah, we tried to put her in a home, but she wasn't having it, so. Oh! Hey, Red! It's a little TMI. Grandma, some produce this time. These old legs can't run on chocolate chips alone. Yay! This is a new scene! And these aren't even real glasses. And she's like, oh, must not be uh, Nora. She can't run on chocolate chips. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Oh, it's a, it's a, it's a kitty wolf. Shit, that's a good question. It's a half. Oh, Zwai would have been a good one. He's the same. Uh, maybe she could. <laughs> the stage. Oh. Terrible mistake. Little Red Riding Hood was a trained warrior with a deadly mechanical sight. It's also a gun. It's also a gun. Step off, Wolfie. Step off, Wolfie. It's not a prop. Who's gonna bag her? Right. But the wolf wasn't going to give up that easily. She had a plan. Okay. <laughs> oh, and, oh, thank you, Saint She took a shortcut to Little Red's <laughs> grandmother's house and found the old woman so sleeping fine. soundly in her Does not get along. Does not get along with Blake. Um, Did somebody say grandma? <laughs> oh, shit. I work out. Uh, <laughs> aren't you supposed to be in bed? 
Who's got time for sleep when I prepared this great song and dance number? She's just stealing the show. She's stealing the show. No, I want to hear it. This is my one scene. Get off my back. <laughs> Get in bed, Grandma. Easy there, Wolfie. You haven't even bought me dinner yet. Oh! <laughs> Woo! I'm just going to move this along and eat her. And just like that, oh, the big bad wolf gobbled the grandmother up. There. You're dead. Oh, it's all done. It was me. I was too young to <laughs> die. Despite what many thought, seeing as I was a grandmother. <laughs> She's just the chewing that scene. The Red's grandmother then laid in bed, waiting <coughs> to ambush the unsuspecting child. Hi, Grandma. Thanks for the birthday cards. Dad told me to bring you food. Now, the wolf needed only to draw Little Red closer. Hey, come closer. <laughs> near, she noticed mm. something was wrong. Mm. Hey, Grandma, what big eyes you have. Wow, what an insensitive thing to say to your loved ones. Hey, <laughs> you have. You Little rude. Really self-conscious about them. Thanks for bringing it up. Hey, oh. Grandma, what big teeth you have. Okay, you're just a rude little brat. I'm going to kill you. <laughs> oh, smells like Yang's determined. Um, then the woodsman. Uh, woodsman? Why do I have to be woodsman? woodsman? And why does this weapon have two axe blades? You can't even aim. Oh, personal preference. <laughs> because my best friends yes! and best friends have each other's backs. But wait, I thought Red Riding Hood had a sight. Why does she need a woodsman? You what happened to the sight? It's her vision. Anyway. No wonder Red Riding Hood's a total Mary Sue character. What? Loved by many and known for her hood, you totally based her off yourself. Ooh! Ooh! I like to think that art can do interpretation. Wait a minute. Are we breaking the fourth Aren't wall you kids here? Kids all bit? supposed to be in class. Oops. Why are you? Well, why is that? Shouldn't he should have known that from the beginning? Oh, so, yes, nicely done, why? Guys, this. Oh my God, yes. I love, I, <laughs> I love the song too, the little Ruby. They don't play it at the end of, well, I think they do, just not maybe the full version with the vocals and everything. Um, oh my God, I love it. Oh my God, you guys. Uh, <laughs> guys. The same vision that brought you dog butt is the same one that brought you this interpretation of Little Red Riding Hood. Oh my God, were they getting a little, were they, ooh, were they um, throwing some, some shots there at some criticisms perhaps um, with some of that uh, dialogue towards them? Maybe, perhaps. Um, oh, guys, I just, I can't even pick a favorite. I honestly can't even pick a favorite. If uh, I mean, there were there's some de definite highlights for me. The dog butt. Um, I I love. I just honestly like Ruby in general stands out to me so much in this one that she's just like. And somebody let me know too that they're just all like extreme versions of themselves. Like. Um, Ruby's extra Ruby and you can see how Weiss is like extra kind of like cool girl and um and so forth and Nora's like I mean honestly Nora's pretty much Nora <laughs> um for for this point in time in the series um but with with just like the massive eating of the pancakes and such but Oh, guys, I love that so much. I just, I, and, and I love how, I love the little, like, just, like, little references and things that they sneak in, like, the axe and the, oh, my God. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. And, um, and, and the puns and, oh, my goodness, the way Yang could not stand not being the center of attention in that and how she was the cool grandma, the cool, fit grandma I, can we just all aspire to be the kind of grand person that Yang was right there? Can we just all make that agreement with each other that, like, we're going to aspire to be the fit, cool, 
you know, grand person one day. Um, it doesn't even have to be to actual grandkids. It could be to anyone. But, like, that's what I aspire to be in my old age. And, honestly, I feel like Yang is, like... Yeah, Yang was born to be a cool grandma because she's already got like the funny puns and like she's already super cool, obviously. Um, oh my goodness. I love how um, Blake is even more like, <sighs> Blake in this kind of reminds me of, has anyone seen Raven in um, Teen Titans? Has it called Teen Titans or Teen Titans Go? I can't remember. I think it's just Teen Titans. But, like, not the older Teen Titans where it was more serious, but the newer one that's, like, super fun and funny. Um, she reminds me <laughs> a little bit of Raven in that. Um, and that she's just, like, really, like, mm, like, low-key. And um, I love it. I love it. I love that Zwei gets a lot of time in the show as well. I'm a big fan of that. And I and we got to see some of Sun and Neptune again. Um, they were brought in for a second. So I can see how we are probably going to be. We got Ozpin's voice. We got, um, oh, what's his name's voice? The teacher. Um, and so I can see how we're going to be. Oh, my God. When we get to Chibi Crow, are we going to get to Chibi Crow? Don't tell me. Don't tell me because I want to be surprised. But honestly, if we get to Chibi Crow, I will lose it. I will lose it. I will straight up lose it. A lot of our characters we have yet to see. And I'm very excited to see them and get to meet their chibi version. I don't even know how you do it, chibi crow. Chibi crow would be really, really interesting. I don't know. Because <laughs> when we first met crow, he was, um, you know, uh, well, I mean, there was some, I won't, I won't get into it because, again, I don't know where you're at. But, like, there's some more serious topics there that, like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> do that just like chibify it anywho anywho oh guys this was a this was like a soul vacation for me this was just like a wonderful happy what is it 38 minutes in my day I don't even think it's 38 or 36 I can't tell um this was this was wonderful I absolutely loved it um it's just, uh, it's just a happy place for me, and I love everything that they do in it. I'm um, not going to go through and recap every single one, because like I said, there's not really there's not really plot points, but there are like some long-running jokes, like the katana thing keeps coming back, the cookies keep coming back, but just overall, I'm just having the time of my life with it, and I think you could tell, probably, by the fact that I'm like constantly laughing and hooting and hollering, so. Um, all right, guys, I loved it. We are now, what, like halfway through season one of Ruby Chibi. That's amazing, and I cannot wait for more. So um, I absolutely loved it. I hope you enjoyed watching along with me. As always, thank you so much for joining me today. Please be sure to join me next time. We will watch it together. Bye for now, guys.